The Smoky Hills project is located on the eastern limb of the Bushveld complex in the Limpopo province, 300 kilometers north of Johannesburg. Surrounded by some of the major players in the platinum industry, Smoky Hills promises to be a long-term, low-cost operation. Smoky Hills is our first project that uh, we're bringing into production uh, due to start in uh, August 2008. It's a project costing us about 50 million to build, producing just under 100,000 ounces of PGMs per annum. It's a project that you can bring into production quickly, and we have been able to bring it into production quickly. It provides a lot of cash flow for this company to invest in developing its other assets such as uh, Kalahari Platinum. We're basically standing on the outcrop here. So from the first blast that you do, you're creating reef. Um, so in terms of your cash flow, you generate revenue quite early in your project. The grade in the old body here is quite high and, and we, we're planning to mine at about 5.1 grams a tonne. Uh, low uh, energy cost, um, relatively low labour cost in terms of manpower doing it um, and this all makes it a very lucrative uh, project. The project uh, kicked off with the exploration phase. Approximately 70 holes would, uh, were drilled from surface from where the ore modelling was done. And then we went over doing some bulk sampling, uh, kicking off the bankable feasibility study. It was a full blown study um, up to 80 to 90 percent accuracy. The project was approved. After that, we moved over into uh, the actual project phase. Uh, we will be mining about 60,000 tons per month for a, a life of mine of seven years. Of course, the plant feed also 60,000 tons for those seven years. We will be, be producing uh, out of open cut mining for about 14 months to start off with. This of course uh, boosts the project because you can uh, generate reef to your plant very early in the project. Um, and then going over into a shallow mine underground operation. The milestones for this project are firstly to commission the plant uh, during August 2008. Of course then moving over to production over a three months build up in the plant uh, up to 60,000 tons plant throughput in November 2008. Um, then for the financial year of 2008, plan being be between 50 and 60,000 ounces uh, produced. And for the financial year 2009, up to full production of 90,000 ounces for the year. The underground mining due to uh, commission on site during June 2008, starting with the physical underground work and then building up to full production of 60,000 tons a month by October 2009. Basically the UG2 reef that you get here, the average width of a UG2 reef um, over the whole resource in the region of 60 centimeters. The mining cut will be done over a height of about 1.2 uh, meters, which will include a cut into the foot wall of about 10 centimeters. And then in the hanging wall, traditionally we, you get the triplets, which is small little chrome bands hanging, uh, running in the hanging wall. And we plan to cut on the second stringer, the first stringer running there. And, and you can see clearly that's a parting there. So the hanging wall will be cut on the second stringer there and your hanging wall of your, of, of your mine will be lying there. So over the average width of 1.2 cut over the UG2, we plan to mine it at the region of 5.11 grams a ton to the plant. Plant operations is a traditional concentrating plant for PGMs. Uh, we've got an offtake agreement for the PGM uh, concentrate with Impala Platinum. And we also produce a bit of chrome as a byproduct, and we've also got um, takeoff agreements for those in place as well. We're building a uh, milling and flotation plant, which consists of uh, all your metallurgical units, like uh, you have your crusher, your crusher section, your milling, your silos, uh, and then your flotation plant. Filtration, we're using a Larox filter. Extraction of uh, PGMs from UG2 is. Uh, it, it, it is, uh, is a process where you have to float your, your sulfide minerals by putting in reagent, a suit of reagents to, to actually make uh, your sulfides which are, which are associated with your PGMs amenable to float. 
and then you float those to an acceptable grade which you send to the smelters.